Good evening. First tonight, more than 50 people have their vehicles back after a week of being stuck inside the collapsed Bayshore Mall parking structure. Cars were removed this morning using a, using a plan approved by engineers. And now the I-Team is learning more about the structural capacity of the Bayshore parking garage and just how the heavy snowfall may have played a role. TMJ4 Sean Gallagher breaks down what may have gone wrong. We're likely months away from fully understanding the failure of the parking structure here at Bayshore Mall. But details from the blueprints and original plans from back in 2005 are giving us a glimpse of how it was built and how much weight it could hold. Hundreds of pages of records related to the Bayshore parking garage. Property tax assessments, plumbing permits. And a lot of it. What does this even mean? Is hard for the average person to understand. The design specifications mention snow, but I have no idea what that means. So I went to an expert for help. It's a typical uh, parking garage. But UW-Madison professor Gustavo Paramontesinos made it a little more digestible. He wasn't involved in the building of the parking garage at Bayshore, but he says structural engineers calculate an elaborate equation to ensure the lowest risk of failure possible. We don't design for normal loads. We design for much higher loads for events that are extremely unlikely uh, to occur. We're not positive snow is the cause of the collapse, but um, we likely think it's involved. It was probably the most amount of sleet we've seen in a storm system since the 70s. Our chief meteorologist Brian Nisnansky says this storm brought an incredible amount of sleet, which is roughly four times heavier than a standard snowfall. While he says it's impossible to know the true weight, he gave context to the equivalent size of that pile of snow. You would have had to squeeze in four times the size of that pile into that same location if it was normal snow, but it was not. Paramontesinos points to this page of the records released by Glendale, showing the roof needs to be able to withstand snow amounts of 25 pounds per square foot. But he says structures like this can typically handle even more than that. Probably they design for about 90 to 100 uh, pounds per square foot. I would not expect just the snow sitting there uh, to create a load that would be large enough to uh, cause a failure of these double T beams. It collapsed from the third floor to the second to the first. Police body camera from that day shows an immense amount of snow among the rubble, but no cause has been declared yet for the collapse. Paramontesinos expects a full investigation to ensure there wasn't anything at fault with the structure itself, but he hopes this sends a message. The fact that we're talking about the probability of this piling of snow leading to the collapse, that should be enough of a warning for people managing other parking structures to make sure they don't allow this uh, sort of accumulation of snow to happen. Body camera video shows a company that arrived on scene called Winter Services. Its website says it's a full service snow removal and ice control company. I tried to contact them to figure out if they do operate here at Bayshore Mall and better understand their strategies around removing snow and ice, but nobody got back to me by our deadline. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher.